Okay, hello there YouTubers. I thought I would just take a little time out of my night here to make a video of my top 9 recommended applications for Mac OS X. Uh, I'm not a tech guru or anything by those standards. I just got a, I'm a guy with a Mac and I thought I'd join the YouTube revolution here and show you what I like to have on my Mac. So, let's get started. Okay, the first application here uh, is called Anti-RSI. And I know you can't see it because my head's in the way right here, but uh, here it is down here, anti-RSI. And it's uh, it's more for browsing or if you're going to be using your computer for a long period of time. What it does is it allows you to schedule work breaks. See, I have it set to every 60 minutes. It'll pop up on my screen, and it'll tell me to take a five-minute work break. And uh, I just step away from my computer, stretch a little bit. You know, so my neck doesn't get too cramped or anything like that, and uh, that's pretty much what it does. And it also has this little micro pause something. I don't know what that is. I don't mess with that too much. But this is just a good uh, application for if you're going to be using your computer for a long period of time. And that's available from tech. dot in Helsinki. dot nl, and uh, I'll post these links over on the side here. The next application that I have on my list here is App Cleaner, and uh, this is just like App Zapper, but it's a free version of it. And uh, what it does is it'll delete applications off your computer completely, not just the application from the folder, but every other thing that goes along with it that's stored to your hard drive. So I'm gonna delete an application that I don't want anymore, Pandora Boy. I'm gonna check the box, hit search. I found Pandora Boy and this other small file that I'm sure I would never I would have never have known about. I just hit delete and it moves it to the trash can. And then I can delete it from there. And that is available from freemacsoft.net. Next application on my list is called Bike Controller and it's just a little thing. Let me scroll zoom in here. It goes up in your menu bar and it's just got these three buttons previous play and next and it just controls your iTunes straight up there from the menu bar you hit pause play I don't know if you can hear the music but that's what it does and that's available from bitetastic.com okay now we have docker docker is an application that does just what it would sound like it does it uh, it allows you to change lots of things about your dock that normally you'd have to do through terminal. It lets you have a 2D or 3D uh, translucent icons, it lets you change the indicator style, separator style, the color of the dock, uh, stacks, settings, the icons. It, uh, it lets you do a lot of stuff with it which is a pretty good uh, <clears throat> pretty good application to have and that's available from blocksoft.net. Okay, the fifth application on my list here is called GitTube. And uh, what GitTube allows you to do is download videos from ya from YouTube directly to your hard drive. So, I'll show you an example here. I'm going to open up my Firefox and I want to download this Einstein the Parrot video. So what I do is I go open up GitTube and it'll always ask you to make a donation which I've never done. Uh, and then you just click which browser you're using, Firefox or Safari. Click Firefox, and it getting Einstein the Parrot downloading all of that. I'm gonna. It'll take a while to download too, but once you download it, it'll go right to your movies folder. And there it is for me Einstein, to watch. Einstein, Einstein, everyone. Okay. Number six on my list, Handbrake. Handbrake is an excellent free DVD ripper for Mac. And I'm not going to take the time to rip a DVD, but what it lets you do is just put a DVD in your drive and it'll just rip it, burn it, and uh, save it onto your, your hard drive for you to watch anywhere on the go without having the actual DVD copy. And that is available from handbrake.fr right, time for number seven on my list 
Uh, this is an application that I was really surprised to see didn't come on Macs. Uh, you Windows users are familiar with MS Paint, and uh, I remember when I got my first Mac, I, I, was, I searched around on it forever for an application like this, and was really upset to find they didn't have one, but really easy to find one. Uh, it's called Paintbrush, and it's just what you'd think it is. It's a paintbrush application that lets you paint. And that's available from en.softsonic.com. Okay, and application number eight is one that you're going to hear a lot about when you search for applications recommended for Mac. It's called Quicksilver. And it took me a while to buy into all this. I didn't like it. I just used uh, Spotlight primarily. But Quicksilver is a great application launcher. It lets you set up a shortcut and uh, a command key and you can just start typing what you want so mine is just to tap command twice and it comes up right away and let's say I want to open mail I just type in M and I've used it so many times it learns that I'm probably going to choose mail uh, let me do something that I haven't I don't usually open with Quicksilver that's Onyx I'll show you how fast it is to open that Boom, I already connected it. It's just taking on Onyx a while to load up now. And, uh, god damn it, I shouldn't open that because now I have to do all this crap. But anyways, that's Quicksilver, and it's available from blacktree.com. And it's probably one of the best applications on this list. Okay, my ninth and final app is a big one. It's called Views, and what it is is it's a torrent downloader. And, uh... A cool thing about Macs that I, I didn't know at first is that they are almost impenetrable to getting viruses. So you can download all kinds of stuff and you won't get a virus. So what I do is I open up Firefox and I go to this website, torrents.to, and uh, I search for whatever I want, movies, music, whatever. I'm just going to search for Nine Inch Nails here. And uh, music, or I want music. So there's nine inch nails, and I sort I sort them by seeds here, because the more seeds, generally the better they are. So what we have here is nine inch nails, the slip, and I'm gonna click on it. And usually it's it's smart to to read through the comments and and see if anyone's commented on good audio quality or whatever and lossless here they said it's good got good quality so I'm gonna go ahead and download the torrent and uh, save file to my download folder and here it is in my downloads and what I do is open up downloads there it is the slip and I open with I go to it's views is already my default but that's what you do is hit open with views and uh, views is already open, so as you can see, here it is downloaded, downloading Nine Inch Nails, and it should be here in 36 minutes, right here next to the downward spiral. And uh, that's just an awesome thing, is you can get all kinds of good stuff through torrents on a Mac. And that's available from views.com. Okay, so that's it. That's my top nine applications for Mac. Thanks for watching. Um, I would say subscribe, but I'm a pretty boring guy. I don't have that many videos. Just thanks for watching.